we are going to understand today is what is this view and what is this var body column sum view so why it is it necessary that we have to write it like this so first thing you see uh, in the first lecture also we were discussing that this is a struct now what is struct uh, that i will create a separate series layer on on swift on the basic swift programming so there i will i will covering all the struct classes and everything so like struct basically we use like you no know, if you see the definition and if you go structs are value type and we use it for our model and all all such things now here we are defining a struct which confirms to view okay now in swift there is a there is a concept of protocol okay we'll go more deep into the protocol in some uh, later lecture but if i just tell you in short then protocol is like an interface like no interface if you see interface word come from uh, object oriented like java where like it contains some methods or variable but it don't have any implementation like the uh, the functions will be implemented where you confirm to that protocol or i i or in other language i say where you implement that protocol so if you see this view this is a protocol now what is this public keyword again there are lots of not lot of there are four five keyword in surf we'll again cover this later when we'll talk more about the access specifier but public just in short i can tell like we can access it from other module like what do you mean by other module so if you see right now we have imp imported here a module swift ui so this view is actually actually defined in module swift ui and we are importing it so in order to access the classes from other module that classes or struct or anything has to be public okay or open now what is open again i'll come that into my uh, later series now if you, uh, the moment we saw this this view here there was one more thing that what does it tells so it it have a associated body which is again of view and if you see here it has a view builder where body self dot body kit okay now let's see that if i define a new struct here a struct my or let's say that custom view and i confirm it to same view protocol so does it throw error does it work it gives me an error what is this error is telling that i have to as i'm confirming to the view protocol i have to implement the methods or whatever the things are there which are defined there okay so it wants me to add those what was defined there so that's what i, I just showed to you that it it is actually coming from this view protocol okay so that's why whatever the code you see in uh swift ui whenever you you create any a new view you see this by default there is a code var body colon sum view no again what is this sum so sum is basically a keyword which is which tells that it's a opaque type okay no we have heard about like if some people who are coming from uh, ios background we have heard about generic type okay but what is this opaque type so opaque type um, in simple language if i can say that it can be or thought as a concrete type that implements a particular protocol and it is denoted with sum and then that protocol name okay so in this opaque type the compiler does not need to know what is the exact type that has to be returned so here if you see in this particular case right now we are returning a text let's say that instead of text i take some other thing let's say a text field or let's see i'll show you the another way we can created using this so button 
So even now this error will go away. In this case, instead of text, I am creating a button. So now this is a button type, but unless and unless it is returning a view object, it will not throw me an error. And if you see here in my screen, it turned from text field to button. But what if I return button and text both? Let's say that topic I think you might uh, find it a uh, little confusing and uh, so let's try to understand and what we are going to understand today is what is this view and what is this where body call on some view so why is it necessary that we have to write it like this so first thing you see uh, in the first lecture also we were discussing that this is a struct now, what is struct uh, that I will create a separate series layer on on Swift on the basic Swift programming. So that I will I will be covering all the struct classes and everything. So like struct basically used like you know if you see the definition and if you go structs are value type and we use it for our model and all other such things. Now here we are defining a struct which confirms to view okay now and swift there is a there's a concept of protocol okay we will go more deep into protocol in some uh, later lecture but if i just tell you in short then protocol is like an interface like you no know, interface if you see interface what comes from uh, object oriented like java where like it contains some methods or variable but they don't have any implementation like the uh, the functions will be implemented where you confirm to that protocol or I, I or in another language i say where you implement that protocol so if you see this view this is a protocol now what is this public keyword again there are lots of not lot of there are four five keyword and stuff we are going to cover this later when we'll talk more about the access specified but public just in short, I can tell, like we can access it from other module. Like what do you mean by other module? So if you see right now, we have Im imported here a module Swift UI. So this view is actually actually defined in module Swift UI and we are importing it. So in order to access the classes from other module, that classes or the struct or anything has to be public. Okay, or open. Now what is open again? I will come that into my uh, later series. Now, if you, uh, the moment we saw this this view, here there was one more thing that what does it tell? So it it have a associated body which is again a view. And if you see here, it has a view builder where body is self dot body kit. Okay. Now let's see that if I define a new struct here. Struct my or let's say that custom view and I confirm it to same view protocol so does it throw error does it work it gives me an error what is this error it's telling that I have to as I'm confirming to the view protocol I have to implement the methods or whatever the things are there which are defined there okay so it wants me to add those what was defined there so that's what I, I just showed to you that it's it is actually coming from this view protocol okay so that's why whatever the code you see in uh, Swift UI whenever you you create any a new view you see this by default there's a code where body colon sum view now again what is this sum so sum is basically a keyword which is which is that it's opaque type okay now we have heard about it like if some people who are coming from uh, ios background we have heard about generic type okay but what is this opaque type so opaque type um in simple language if i can say that it can be or thought as a concrete type that implements a particular protocol and it is deleted with 
sum and then that protocol name okay so in this opaque type the compiler does not need to know what is the exact type that has to be returned so here if you see in this particular case right now we are returning a text let's say that in instead of text i take some other thing let's say a text field or let's see i'll show you the other way we can create it using this so button so even now this error will go away in this case instead of text i am creating a button so now this is a button type but unless and unless it is returning a view object it will not throw me an error and if you see here in my screen it turned from text field to button but what if i return button and text both let's say that swift ui lecture so today uh, we will be covering a important topic i think you might uh, find it a uh, little confusing so if you see here text i just put hello now in this case if you see the compiler is showing me two different view it is not showing me all together okay this what i have written this code is wrong because at one point of time or let's say that if i delete my button and i just put two text text hello and text hello two or hello three so this is wrong the body as it is conforming to view protocol it should have just one return type but right now what i'm trying to do i am returning two things i'm returning text hello and i'm returning text hello three now if you might have a question right now that generally like when you create a app you have multiple components it's not like that you will always use either a text or a button or image or any other thing it, it is always a combination of different object and in that case how we can handle multiple objects so yeah definitely there is a solution for that and for that there is a concept called container view now there are different type of containers one which i am just going to tell for this that we can use a vertical stack so vertical stack is nothing just a container which arranges elements in vertical direction so here text and then hello and then next text this is hello too and if you see you can see both the text so i think now i made little clear on what is this some view and why you confirm when you confirm to the view, view protocol why this particular structure is necessary and how we can return multiple objects for that particular view next thing we'll continue in the next lecture thanks for watching have a nice day